Today I'll teach you how to use Bootstrap Date Picker in ASP.NET Core. So we'll start by adding the tag helpers. Now in the body tag, I'm adding a form element. Now inside the form tag, I'm adding the attributes. The very first attribute is method for which I'm setting the value as post. Then I'm setting the ASP controller, which is home, the name of my controller. And then finally, ASP action, which is the name of the action method index. Now first I'm adding a text box, HTML input element, for which I'm setting the ID and the name attribute. The name attribute will be useful later on when we are passing the value of the date text box to the controller. Now finally, I am adding a submit button. And this completes our HTML part. Now we'll start the Bootstrap programming. So I'm starting by pasting the scripts and the style sheets required by Bootstrap. Now I am adding a script tag. Inside which I'll be writing the jQuery document ready event handler, which will be executed when the page is loaded. Now here I'm selecting the date text box and I'm applying the bootstrap date picker plugin to the text box. Inside the plugin, there are some properties which I'll be setting. The very first property is change month, which I'm setting as true which means the calendar will allow us to change the months. The next property is change year, which I'm setting as true. This will allow us to change the year. The third property is format, which is the format in which the date will be displayed inside the text box. Now this completes the bootstrap date picker implementation. Now let's move to the controller. Now inside the controller, I'll be adding a action result method with a name index. Now here I am setting the parameter string selected date. This particular parameter name is same as the name attribute of the date text box so that it can fetch the date from the form collection. Now inside the action method, I am converting the date to a date time object. Now I am making use of a view bag object and inside the view bag object, I am setting the date after converting it to short date string. Finally, the view function is returned. Before ending, I am decorating my action method with HTTP POST attribute so that it is specified that this particular action method will only handle POST calls. Now let's move back to the view. Now here in the view, using reserve syntax, I am verifying whether the view back object is not null. And if it is not null, then inside the if condition, I am displaying the view back object using JavaScript alert message box. So with this, we complete our programming part. Now let's run the project and see it in action. As you can see, the text box and the button is now being displayed. Now when I click on the text box, the calendar is displayed. And after selecting the date, the date is displayed in the text box. Now I'll click on the submit button and you can see the date is now displayed in the JavaScript alert message box. With this, we come to an end in this video. Today we learned how to implement Bootstrap Date Picker in ASP.NET Core. We also learned the various properties of the Bootstrap Date Picker plugin. Also, we learned how to send the date from view to controller and then also receive the date from controller to view in HP.NET Core. So that's it from my end. Thanks. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And please also click on the bell icon so that you receive notifications. Goodbye.